New tonight, 19 people from across nine states have reported bad reactions after receiving cosmetic Botox injections. The CDC says the injections were given by unlicensed or untrained providers or in non-medical settings, some of them here in Florida. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton spoke with dermatologists about what you need to know right now. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, from 2000 to 2020, Botox injections increased nearly 459%. So experts say, yes, when you have 19 different cases of mishandled or counterfeit Botox in nine different states, one of those states being Florida, it's a serious situation. When it's injected wrong, reconstituted wrong, or poorly administered, there can be some effects from that. That could be anything from Botox not working to botulism. Botulism is a rare but serious illness caused by toxins released by bacteria that attacks the nervous system. Symptoms include blurry or double vision, droopy eyelids, difficulty breathing, and it also in some cases can be fatal. I think it's actually a really good opportunity to educate the general public and, and patients about what you should be looking for in a medical setting from an injector. Morgan Morgan is a nurse practitioner at Cell Renew Medical Spa in Tampa. She is one of two people certified to administer Botox at the spa. She says the first thing you want to do is make sure you're seeing a licensed Botox provider. And the CDC says just because a person is a doctor doesn't mean they're qualified to be giving Botox. Remember, Botox can be used for medical or cosmetic reasons. We can treat both in most circumstances. However, typically, if it's something very specified, such as migraines, we're referring you to a neurologist for those. The CDC says you should always also ask if the Botox products being used are FDA approved. Get reliable proof, ask to see before and after pictures of current patients, and make sure your medical spa or clinic has the correct oversight. Every medical spa should have a licensed physician as their medical director. So that's something that we have here. Dr. Mario Hernandez is our medical director. JJ Burton, ABC Action News.